What's up, guys? So, I'm going to read this article today. Uh, Motorsport Games uh, News from uh, Stephen Hood, the new CEO, announcing a DLC next gen pack for the Heat 5 game. So, it says here NASCAR Heat 5's 2022 next gen DLC is coming in days. All right. Um, this is weird. Uh, the number's not even in the right place, but that's neither here nor there. I'm, I, I don't care about that. Uh, let's see. The news follows statements made during developer Motorsport Games quarter one 2023 earnings call. We have been deploying resources towards well-regarded legacy platforms such as the NASCAR Heat franchise, progressively bringing it closer to season currency, said the new CEO, Stephen Hood. In the coming days, we will update the product for the 2022 season, complete with next-gen cars for fans to enjoy. Heat 5's downloadable content pack is, story is longer than the Daytona 500. It stems from poor performance of the company's uh, Ignition game, which was initially intended to be a new platform, replacing the Heat series. My focus extends across all of our activities, and as such, I am instilling a culture of togetherness and optimism from the top down. I've seen from afar how our, our team has been hurt by the inevitable consumer reaction towards products like Ignition, a title that does not reveal the capability of those who remain with us on, on this journey. Indeed, I believe we are going to turn a corner and with the right products win over those who understandably question our delivery. Following the reception, Motorsport Games confirmed it was going back to the older Heat 5 title to work on a paid pack for 2022 re real world season. <clears throat> Initially, it was $12.34. Uh, seven days later, the price was reduced to $10, blah, blah, blah. Since then, there's been silence until yesterday's May 11th earnings call. While that will hopefully deliver something soon for NASCAR fans to play, Questions, question marks remain about where the virtual gaming series goes from here. We are also working on a review of plans to maintain further support for existing franchise titles while progressing with development around future NASCAR games, continued Hood. I've seen enough since my return to understand that our primary opportunities revolve our, 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 around our plans for long tail franchise games like BTCC, IndyCar, innovative opportunities with the 24 Hours of Le Mans, uh, which includes the British and I mean the World Endurance Championship and service amplifiers like our evolving competition system, which we intend to eventually become an important piece of our strategy in the future. In related news, the Miami headquartered company has shuttered its micro studios in both Belize, Georgia, and Orlando, USA, with a minor headcount loss. It now has two main development outposts, Northamptonshire, UK, to work across <clears throat> Europe and Melbourne, Australia, where the 2024 IndyCar game is being produced. It allows us to architect and manage our development resources in a, much, in, a, in a more effective manner. We have this concept of, a, of just trying to center development operations so that it's much easier to monitor development progress and ensure we get the right caliber of individuals attached to those known locations. That is perhaps a rather large departure from how we started at the beginning of uh, the motorsports journey, motorsport games journey, and one I think will pay dividends in the long run. So really development is across Europe right now and Australia. Company reported a net loss of 5.3 million in the opening quarter of this year, compared to 16 million during the same period of 2022. Uh, Traxion is part of motorsport games. Okay. All right. So 
basically they are finally releasing this uh dlc pack that people have been waiting for um i'm not one of those people i don't think this adds much one uh there's the the, the heat franchise is old and outdated and they're still trying to find ways to squeeze money out of it that tells you everything you need to know but what bothers me is the reception that they're getting like a lot of people in i see in in the in the in the consumer base i i'll say right excited on social media and it just amazes me that no matter how much they get shit on they are always ready, willing, and able to give more of their money to these developers. No matter how bad um, they've, they've turned out to be, it, it's like the, I've never seen a bigger group of lemmings than I have in the video game space, right? The consumer base. Um, I can't believe people are even excited of the first of all it's 2022 so it's already outdated uh i've seen people giving uh stephen hood credit they're like they're, they're so desperate that they're giving him credit he's only been there for a couple of weeks in charge and they're giving him credit like oh look he made this happen they've been working on this for a long time the fact that they're they're still using uh 2022 it's a 2022 update they didn't just come up with this in the past two weeks they've been working on this it's just been in limbo because of all the other issues right so they're finally going to release it and they're giving credit to stephen hood um it's just something they've been working on for a long time so the fact that it took them this long to release an update to an old outdated game like NASCAR Heat 5 tells you everything you need to know. And yet people are excited. They're ready to give them their money. Uh, I am i don't support that. Uh, I, I don't, there's no way I would ever give a dime to this company. And it's just, it, it just never ceases to amaze me how quick people forget how 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 they're just willing to hand over their money and they'll probably order it without a second thought without waiting to see what other people say about it you really think they're going to change the physics in any way it's a it's a fucking glorified uh skin it's it's all it is um i even if they're able to tweak a few things here and there it's not worth it i i don't I, they, they haven't earned my money. Um, it's, it's amazing. And you read all these comments. It, you tell me what's different. You know, there's a new CEO, but it's still the same old word salad, the same old fucking, you know, jerk off session. Talking about, let me, let me show you. Hold on a second. <clears throat> My focus in, extends to all our activities. I'm, in, I'm instilling a culture of togetherness and optimism from the top down. What the fuck does that mean? I'm sure they're happy that they're not, they don't have to deal with Costco, but really, has anything changed? A title that does not reveal the capability of those who remain with us on this journey. What does this mean? It means that there's only a handful of people left working on these games now um i did hear an audio uh, ver uh i heard audio clips from the 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 earnings call right and it sounded like the same script that costco was reading from the same old bullshit and um there was no real news concerning nascar games um uh, it's just the same old bullshit they did talk about oh well Stephen hood did talk about something i found really interesting that somebody asked him about uh, hiring right 
not not in those words, but his answer was, we are not competing with these other big developers out there. But what he was talking about was in terms of resources and manpower. So in other words, and, and, he, and he specifically said that they were going to make better decisions and that's how they were going to turn things around. That they, just making better decisions was going to be the key to, to turning everything around. Not hiring extra help, not spending money on resources, right? So now they have less people. They brought it up here how things have changed. This is it's all bullshit. Here, it allows us to architect and manage our development resources in a more effective manner. That's how he's explaining the fact that, uh, like you see here, minor headcount loss. They, they, they shuttered its micro studios in three different places, right? So all they have is North Hampton, Northamptonshire, UK, and I, I, they don't even say where else. But in either case, they have less people working on the game, less resources, and they're trying to sell it to you like, oh, look, we'll make better decisions and we're going to do more with less. That's supposed to instill confidence in everybody. Well, it doesn't instill confidence in me um this is not worth anybody's money um but you know these people are lucky that this community is full of lemmings who, who are going to run out the door and and just hand their money over even though they have proven themselves to be one of the worst gaming developers ever and they're trying to still milk money from an old, outdated game that was developed by somebody else. They own it, but somebody else worked on that. It's not really a product they worked on. Now they're making tweaks to it, but it's an outdated game. And we're stuck with these guys. NASCAR is still silent. They haven't said a damn thing about the licensing. Um, is this is, I'm not. I, I don't see what what there is to get excited about. But if you look on social media, if you look on Twitter, whatever, there's people that are excited about it. Um, I don't support handing over money to to developers like this. Um, at the very least, can you wait to see what what it what other people say about it before you just commit your money to these people. I'm just, I am up to here with, with, with this whole thing. And I don't know, man, I don't know what else to say, but it's all very familiar word salad. Um, I get it. It's going to take time. And Stephen hood does have gaming experience, but I really think the hole is too deep. There is no talk of investing money into hiring more people and actually getting better resources. He's giving you the same spiel that you got from Costco about, remember when he talked about systems in place to do things more efficiently? That's the same thing he's that, that Hood is telling you here with, with this other stuff. It's just different words. My focus extends across all our activities. I'm instilling a culture of togetherness and optimism. I mean, it, this, this is just word salad. So they're finally releasing, and it's already outdated. It's a 2022 DLC. So that tells you they've been working on this f for a while. And people are, I've seen people giving Stephen Hood credit, like, oh, look, he's already getting things done. It's, it's it's amazing to me. This this the video game community is just full of lemmings. I've never seen anything like it. Just people willing to continue to hand over their hard-earned money uh, 
for for you know to developers that just continue to shit in a box and give it and sell it to them and then they the next time they come out people can't wait to go out and spend money again this is crazy anyhow um yeah nothing new no word on a future nascar game um there's no real roadmap. It's just word salad and finally a DLC to an outdated game. And the DLC is already outdated. So I don't know what people are excited so excited about. And it's, it just amazes me. It amazes me that there, there's people are always going to be people willing to run out and just hand over their money. Anyhow, those are my thoughts. I look forward to your comments later. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.